You're watching 8 bit days a week, and this time I'm gonna be playing a very popular Capcom beat em up game, although it never had any home release, unfortunately. But this one is a well loved uh, arcade classic, I do believe. It's based from uh, two properties Aliens and Predator. Um, it's too bad that the movies were not based on this game though, because this game is much much better than the movie that came out a few years ago. Anyway, yep, this is Alien vs Predator. And uh, let's see, will I go with Dutch or Lin? I'll go with Predator first. Okay. Very beautiful looking game, featuring ugly monsters though. Um, and the sound is very... very well done. It's too bad this did not get uh, included on the Capcom beat'em up collection that was released recently as well. So, obviously, license issues. It's really unfortunate. Everyone should have the chance to play this, but it seems the only way to do so these days are through emulation. I mean, of course. Um, arcades are hard to find <laughs> only in certain countries of course you have to look for this game in as well and as usual I don't see anything uh, wrong when playing it on the when loading the uh, ROM on the PlayStation Classic. Everything seems to be fine. I played this a lot in the arcades before. Especially when um, I know this was also the time that there is also a Super Turbo and the thing is if uh, you're not familiar Super Turbo on the arcade is actually very hard <laughs> I mean something about the AI it does like double or triple damage so it's very very difficult so what I do is I just stick to this game first. I actually have my quarter's worth or token, whatever you, whatever you call it. When I play this game instead, I don't die immediately. And even to this day, it seems to be still uh, a game that I would uh, prefer uh, over Super Turbo if I'm playing by myself, that is. Of course, I still uh, love Street Fighter very much.
these um, alien designs, though. I'm not really familiar with uh, most of them. Um, like, for example, this one. This doesn't look like the alien queen, doesn't it? And yet, I've never seen it anywhere in the movies. When it comes to the alien movies though, I've only seen like the first one, second of second one of course is my favorite. Uh, third one, I really hated that. <laughs> I um, the fourth one was actually it's okay. It's not. I mean, I know it's not that good, but uh, it's. Uh, I can watch it. Let's see. Is there a fifth one? Oh no, it was already the crossover of Alien vs. Predator. And I've seen the first one. Wow, that was really a wasted opportunity. That was just really horrible. And then, of course, I've seen the first Prometheus. I mean, I. I at this point, I don't know if it's actually an a uh, still an alien movie or if it's uh, branching off on its own. And uh, for the Predator series, I've seen the first and second one, and again. Uh, the Alien vs. Predator franchise, the first, only the first crossover movie. Um, there was this, I think it was 2012. They, there, there was a Predator movie. I don't know what happened to it. It was, uh, I guess, not well known. But I actually liked that one. And then again, there's a re more recent one. I never saw that. Mm. So I maybe I'm not as a uh, hardcore fan. I don't know. Uh, I guess this would work. I usually thought you need a predator for this stage. I actually also have on the PC, I got it on uh, Steam sale before, the Alien vs Predator, the first person shooter thing came out in 2000. But I haven't gotten around playing it. I will soon. Anyway, that's it for this one, Alien vs Predator, the arcade from Capcom. It's running great on PlayStation Classic. And uh, you're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.